Welcome back to Global Defense Zone. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss our deep dives into the weapons shaping tomorrow. Today we're firing up one of the most futuristic and controversial systems ever dreamed up, the Electromagnetic Railgun. B-Roll, slow dramatic reveal of a railgun prototype, sparks, close-ups. Imagine launching a solid projectile at Mach 6 or more without explosive propellants, no gunpowder, no rocket motor, just electricity and physics. That's the railgun in a nutshell. At its core, a railgun uses powerful electromagnetic forces to accelerate a conductive projectile along two metal rails. On-screen graphic. Rails, projectile, lightning light current. Here's how it works. A massive burst of current is pushed through the rails and across the projectile, creating a magnetic field. The interaction of the current and magnetic field produces the Lorentz force, a sideways push that catapults the slug down the barrel at hypersonic speed. Animation. Current flow and magnetic field vectors, projectile accelerating. Why is that game changing? First, kinetic energy. A projectile traveling at several kilometers per second delivers enormous destructive power on impact. It can pierce armor or strike targets long before traditional artillery can get them in range. Second, logistics, without explosive propellant or complex guidance packages, rounds can be cheaper, safer to store, and less vulnerable to certain supply issues. B-Roll, comparisons of shelled ammunition versus railgun rounds. So if railguns sound like sci-fi, why aren't they everywhere already? Because the engineering hurdles are massive. To generate the necessary current, railguns demand colossal bursts of electrical power, far beyond a typical shipboard or ground vehicle's normal supply. That means either huge capacitors, pulsed power systems, or dedicated power plants, all heavy and complex. On-screen stat. Challenge. Power. Extremely high, pulsed bursts required. Then there's wear and tear. The rails take an absolute beating. Intense heat, arcing, and mechanical friction erode materials fast. Barrel lifetime and maintenance costs become major program drivers. Engineers are experimenting with new materials, sacrificial rails, and clever cooling, but durability remains a showstopper. B-Roll, close-ups of eroded rail surfaces, engineers inspecting components. Accuracy and guidance at hypersonic speeds bring another layer of difficulty. Tiny aerodynamic instabilities multiply quickly when you're moving at Mach 6 plus, so designers must perfect projectile shape, stabilization, and sometimes add guided control surfaces, but that reintroduces complexity and cost. Animation. Projectile wobble magnified. Despite challenges, railguns hold clear operational promise. Navies see them as a way to extend ship firepower without missiles long-range, low-cost per shot strike against surface targets, or even defensively against incoming threats when paired with rapid firing. Land forces imagine high-speed anti-materiel strikes from mobile platforms. And in theory, space launch assist or rapid satellite interception or futuristic niches being explored. B-Roll, conceptual naval railgun firing over the sea. But it's not just tech, it's strategy and budgets. Developing pulsed power ships, solving barrel longevity, and fitting the system into doctrine all demand sustained investment. Some programs have shifted emphasis from pure railguns to alternative electromagnetic launchers or to directed energy weapons because of overlapping technology needs. On screen. Strategy versus. Reality. So where does that leave us? The railgun sits at a crossroads, a brilliant application of electromagnetic theory with jaw-dropping potential, but also a reminder that physics and logistics can blunt the best ideas. If engineers crack the power and materials problems, we could see dramatic changes in naval and artillery warfare. If not, railgun tech will mostly advance the science behind power storage, materials, and control systems, winds that still ripple across defense tech. B-Roll, labs, engineers working, animated future scenarios. Before we wrap up, quick look at the big takeaways. 1. Railguns promise high-speed, long-range kinetic strike without explosives. 2. The real obstacles are power delivery and barrel erosion. 3. Their future depends as much on platforms and logistics as on the weapon itself. On-screen bullet points. 
If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like and share it with a friend who loves military tech. Want a deep dive video into the power systems that would drive a railgun, capacitors, pulsed power and ship integration? Tell us in the comments and we'll make it next. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram for quick updates and behind the scenes, and don't forget to subscribe to Global Defense Zone for weekly tech breakdowns. End slate. Subscribe button, social icons. Thanks for watching, this is Global Defense Zone, where we break down tomorrow's weapons today. See you in the next video. Outro music, channel logo.